Those with little money are relegated to even more risky rubber boats. Mohammed Eid and 41 other Syrians paid $1,500 to cram into one of them. You know, I, I just couldn't believe that this thing will take 42 people to Greece. This thing will cross the water. I, I just couldn't believe it, you know. You feel very silly when you see this. This thing will take you, of course it will not. But you cannot do anything about it. You cannot go back. When spotted at sea by authorities, Mohammed and the others intentionally destroyed the boat and hoped for the best. We know how to play the game because if they will see that the boat is good, they will take us back to Turkey. So we had to destroy the boat in a, in a, a knife. So if they will not see you drowning, they will not save you. That included a woman and her 10-month-old baby.